Hey, 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 Libra. We're doing love readings this time around, and your energy is... Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Awesome. All right, so we're going to get energy between you and energy between you and your partner. Um, assuming there is a partner. Maybe there isn't. Let's see what we can figure out. If you are looking for a private reading, please uh, check below in the description for booking instructions. Also below, you'll find links to my Instagram, my website, and the very first link will be the extension to this video. All right, Libra, let's get your overall energy in your louver life. Oh, success. So you are staying optimistic about your love life. Things are good. Okay. And that tells me your standards are high. And what is your partner's energy? Whoa. What'd they do? What did they do, Viper? Oh, what's going on? All right, let's start digging. We need, I don't even have any of my decks out. Monday morning, I'm a little slow. It was a long, fun weekend. But I've been battling this cold for two weeks now. It comes and goes. I don't know if any of you are experiencing it, but started as a sore throat, chills, fever, and then went away the next day. I thought I kicked it in 24 hours. Then it came back sinuses, and now it's starting to go into my chest. Super fun. Uh, and that's taken like over a two week period. Unbelievable. I'm not sure when it's gonna be over. All right, what is the success you're experiencing? Let's talk about you, and then we'll hear what your partner has to say. Okay, you are staying optimistic and positive because you're letting something come back. You're ready for a new beginning with something from the past and you want to build it differently this time. Um, you're looking for stability. It's not about the sex. It's not about the emotional connection. Maybe both those were there. Maybe it was the stability that was missing. Um, security, loyalty, knowing that that person is there for you could also be money. Maybe the finances were off. Um, but you are open to a new beginning. Maybe you have reached success, maybe financially, and you're ready to financially commit to a partner. But why does your partner feel shame? Let's hear from them. We'll do a little bit of a you say, they say. Have a little conversation here back and forth. So you're, you're saying, all right, let's give this another try. But it needs to be more solid, either financially or just security wise. They're open to it. They're like, all right, yes, let's talk. Let's think this through logically. Let's get all the truth out there. Let's talk about all the stuff that we threw under the rug. Uh, let's begin fresh. What else do they want to say? So they're in agreement. Not sure what the shame is yet. They see this as a win as well. They see that this has a chance to reignite. So you're both being very positive. Um, but they are carrying shame. There's guilt here. Do you know why? Are you aware of this? Or are they keeping it a secret? <clears throat> because you both are on the same page in this new beginning. I mean, this is clearly bring something back. Let's make it stable. Let's talk it all out. Get the truth. Um, and set our, set our stipulations moving forward. And let's do this to the point of winning. Of 
making our relationship look the way we want it to look. And we'll do that together. So that's what I'm hearing from both of you. But nothing is always as it seems. So what do you have to say otherwise? You're not going to be as open and vulnerable this time. Whereas you may have jumped in with both feet last time, you're not doing that this time. You're being very critical and very careful. Like, like this is kind of consuming you right now. And what do they have to say about that? You're like, this is going to work differently this time. I'm not just going to give you me. You're going to have to earn me is what I'm hearing. So where are they? They want to know that you've truly healed and that you've forgiven them. So maybe that's what this shame is. Maybe it's something they did in the past and you are now taking them back. And they wanna make sure that you truly have forgiven them because they don't want this hanging over their head. They don't want this to be the thing five, you know, five years from now where you're like, well, remember when we were dating and now we're married and I'm still holding it over your head. They wanna make sure that that's not going to happen, whatever they did. Okay, what do you have to say? Can you do that? Will you be able to let this go? Yes, you believe, you believe you two are meant to be together. And so you will figure out how to balance this out. You think it's possible. If you give a little, they give a little, all equally, that this can work. And what do they have to say? They're not sure they trust that, to be honest. What did they do? <laughs> Does it matter? Do we really want to know? What did they do? And can you get over it? advantage of you in some way and something with social media so were they pretending to be you online I don't know did they pretend to be you on to, to pretend to be you online to get information about you or To contact someone else I don't know it's something online that was false that they did and you didn't like that okay so the question now is can you forgive them so we're gonna go dig a little deeper and see if we can figure out a little more about what they did and how you're feeling about it but you do see potential here and so do they so can this truly work out is what we have to find out. And we have to find out what they went online for if we can. Um, meet me in the extension. The link is right below the very first link in the description to the extension. I'll see you over there. If not, I'll catch you back here next time. Good luck with this, Libra. Ciao, ciao for now now.